Laura, I promise. Laura, I promise. To care for you. To care for you. To remain true to you. To remain true to you. And above all. And above all. To love and respect you always. To love and respect you always. John, I promise. John, I promise. To care for you. To care for you. To remain true to you. To remain true to you. And above all. And above all. To love and respect you always. To love and respect you always. Firstly, um, I would like to thank everyone in this uh, beautiful venue, Charlton Hall. I know the happy couple loved the mix of tradition and modern as soon as they saw it. And many thanks to all the team for helping to make this a very special day. Thank you all for joining us and being part of the celebrations for this wonderful occasion. I am a very proud dad, and knowing Laura has secretly asked people, close family, I wouldn't have my dad will cry. Well, I can tell you, wow, wow. As soon as I saw her. Laura, you have now both made the declarations required by law and you made solemn and binding promises to each other. I ask all of your family and friends here today, having witnessed this marriage ceremony, and your commitments to each other, join with Irene and I in wishing you joy and success in your future life together. It therefore gives me the very greatest of pleasure to say you are now united as husband and wife. I think you know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've found in life is that no matter what, friends will come and go in your life. And I honestly say the friendship that we have, I'm confident this will never be the case between us and this friendship that will last forever. John is a lad who is committed and loyal. He's always been very headstrong and knows what he wants in life and what he wants out of life. He's a man I've always said if I was to have a daughter, I would like her to meet someone like him. Which I'm sure everyone in the room agrees. And Laura, I'd like to thank you so much for meeting my best made so happy. It really shows and the effort you've put in to make today possible is outstanding. Anyway, now I think it's time to raise a glass. Get me off this microphone. So Laura and Millie. Main thing, we just wanted to thank everybody for coming, um, giving up all your time and effort, sort of in the build up, not just to do. So, really enjoyed just the whole experience. I know Laura's milked about seven Hindus out here. So, uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, just, we really appreciate it. So, just thanks everybody. Um, special thanks to the bridesmaids because you managed to get Laura somewhere on time. So, that's like an achievement in itself. Like, so, thanks for that. No, but Laura, you look absolutely amazing. I, like, I just, <laughs> I'm not going to see I'm bad, sorry. No, but I just, I love everything about you, and um, just, and just thanks for always being there for us. <laughs>
as a very proud and happy father of the bride, can I ask you all to join with me and raise your glasses for a toast to the future happiness of Mr. and Mrs. Milburn. <laughs>